What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be reviewing the brand new epic commander Kira in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, if you guys didn't know, today at 600 UTC, the game went down for three hours for the Eons Ballad update, and the update brought a ton of changes to the game, but probably one of the most interesting changes was the addition of a new epic commander who goes by the name of Kira. If she looks familiar, it's because she is familiar. She's from the Eons Ballad Soroli Crisis event. Um, she previously was and still is uh, an enemy that you verse during that event. And this is really great news, especially for free to play players, right? Because anytime an epic commanders added to the game that is just a straight up win for free to play players because epic commanders are very very accessible to players who don't spend money to the game into the game right um so let's do a little review of kira now again this is not going to be a commander guide this is just going to be a review of her what i think of her talent trees her skills and potential pairings that you could use uh, her with um and kind of tell you what i think about the commander overall obviously i don't have her unlocked so i couldn't possibly bring you a full commander guide without the ability to use her and it may be a while until i can do so and the reason for that and this is a perfect transition into how do you get kira right how do you get her at the time of recording this the only possible way to obtain kira sculptures is through the soroli crisis event now this is both good and bad now let's talk about why is this good right well this is good because it's going to incentivize players to play the soroli crisis event and if you guys didn't know this the swirly crisis event is relatively new to the game it's essentially where you verse a variety of essentially boss battles they're kind of like almost like raid battles and other mmos if you've played them um where you and a, and a group of other players you can either match with random players or invite players from your uh, kingdom or alliance and you verse this super boss right in the middle and there's and they have different skills and you know different things that you have to do in order to avoid taking extra damage and, and etc right and by playing this event you gain coins and you can redeem those coins for various um various things like avatar frames or you could get like uh ap potions or experience tombs things like that right previously um the the, the thing the issue that i ran into with this event is that if you're playing with random players Players, and you matched up with a player that's maybe like 30 million power who's who's way lower power than you right and you tried to match you tried to fill the lobby somebody else there was no penalty to just backing out so they would you know let's say they're a 70 million power player they join they see a 30 million power player and they think oh we're probably not gonna be able to beat them with this this like weaker player so they back out right and then you have to wait for the lobby to fill and then you see them rejoin and then they say oh this is the same lobby and they back out again and so you know with with this this is going to incentivize more players to play that event which will increase the uh player pool which will decrease the amount of time that you're waiting to fill a lobby which is good right this is good the other reason that it's good is that um it will it, pay to win players can't max this commander day one right um by just converting universals um the bad thing about her only being obtained this way is that one she requires 50 coins and you can only get 50 sculptures of her per event which means it's going to take at least if i'm doing the math correctly it looks like you'll have to max purchase her over the course of nine different events if you want to get enough uh, nine or ten events even uh to get enough kira sculptures to max her out and expertise her so that you know depending on how often this early crisis comes around that might take a really long time right um nine or ten of these events i mean if this event only comes around once a month it's going to take almost a year to expertise this epic commander so that's you know in my opinion that's a bad thing right it's a bad thing cause it's, it's going to take a long time to use her the other reason that i think that this is a little bit um uh, that i'm not that excited about that is because players like myself um have let's see uh 1446 epic commander sculptures that we have nothing to do with right i can't do anything with these even if i can convert these into a random com commander that i don't need them for and then donate them during the past glory um this is so many epic commander sculptures that i will max purchase everything in the past glory event and still have an insane amount of coins left over so like this is just too much like this is insane i, I don't know what to do with these um and it's frustrating right and so the fact that we got a new epic commander that's great the fact that it may take 
nine or ten months to expertise her is frustrating and the fact that i can't i still can't use those epic commander sculptures is also incredibly frustrating so that's how you get kira let's move on to her skill trees right she's an archer epic commander which is super good it's super good right because again um if you watch my uh cavalry commander guide video i told you that i preferred calves for free to play because they had three epics to choose from whereas infantry and archers only had two epic commander to choose from well this changes that right now there are three um for the archer special unit so that's really great right we have a new archer for for free to play players that to really utilize awesome she's also a peacekeeper which is good right peacekeepers are good this prevents you from having to use uh somebody like i don't know mark's woman um who's also a peacekeeper right so awesome she's a peacekeeper she has use right against pve content she also has the skill tree and this is going to be super useful for her skills and let's talk about those right let's talk about her skills um because this is really cool her primary skill um is essentially a super small version of isong ye right um she deals damage up to three enemies in a forward facing fan shaped area damage factor up to a thousand this damage factor is decreased by 15 percent for each enemy so if it's a one-on-one -on -one, then you deal a, th a thousand damage factor if it's a 1v2 you do 850 damage factor to each if it's a uh, three players it's probably 700 damage factor to each of them but it may be 720 ish um because i don't know if it decreases the if, if essentially the way that this works is okay you're fighting two enemies decrease it by 30 percent which would bring you down to 700 damage factor or if it's um decrease it by 15 percent for the first which brings it down to 850 and then decrease the 850 by 15 percent as well which brings you down to about 720. so um if it works that way in stages then you actually deal a little bit more damage that way but that's you know that's just small details doesn't really matter so essentially this is a smaller version of isong ye's primary skill because isong ye hits five enemies in a circular shaped area if he's expertise also decreases by 15 percent each enemy but he has a 1400 damage factor so this is like a very very mini isong ye super cool right second skill bonus damage to barbarians of up to 35 percent if you're versing the sorely crisis or ian's valid event it will double that so um against those boss monsters uh, or boss armies it does a 70 percent increase to damage which is insane right that's insane super good for free to play players to do this event because previously the best commanders for surly crisis or ian's valid were things like genghis khan or um like edward of woodstock was really really good you could use just glass cannons super high dps minamoto was even pretty good um in that event so this is gonna maybe change that up a little bit to where this is actually a commander you would really want to use in that event which is again good for free to play players excellent right really good the only gripe that i have about this skill um is that it does no additional experience gain and i think experience gain especially for free to play is super grindy right like it takes forever to max out your commanders um just by killing barbs and even killing guardians it takes so freaking long to get commanders to 60 that we i would like to see more commanders increase um experience gain from barbs now if you look at Boudica, she does a 25 percent increased damage to barbarians so this is more which is good but she also increases experience gain by 20 percent so you know you could say well yeah but this also increases damage to event bosses but when this event when that event's not going on she just does slightly more damage in Boudica, which damage is never really the issue that you have when fighting barbs so yeah i mean she'll be good during karak ceremony um which because of that extra damage factor but um I would have liked to see an additional 10 or 15 percent to experience gain to kind of put her on par with Boudica um, because again increasing the she does 10 percent more damage to barbs but she loses 20 percent experience gain right in exchange for an event specific buff which I don't know I, again I think experience grind is insane for free to play I mean even for pay to win like it's crazy to get to commanders to 60 so the more commanders that buff that experience gain the better and this was an opportunity for them to do so uh, and they and they failed to do that so that's kind of a bummer to me but regardless let's look at our third skill increases archer attack and defense by 10 percent each so this is exactly the same as kusunoki's skill except kusunoki's expertise brings it up to 15 percent for both so 
unfortunately um her expertise does not influence this at all which means this isn't that great um but it's still a 20 percent buff to archers and you know again for free to play players like that's good right that's really really good and her fourth skill is the one that i love the most i love this skill um and let's read it really quick and we'll talk about how versatile it is normal attacks on the target have a 10 percent chance to increase their skill damage taken by up to 80 percent for three seconds right during Strolly crisis or ian's ballad this is brings uh brought up to 150 percent that's almost doubled right almost doubled super insane right so what does this mean well there's a couple of ways that i i see this being used um if her army is swarmed by two three four other commanders that increases the chances of this going off what's unfortunate is that it looks like it is target specific so if this skill pops it's not like all the enemies around you are now going to take 80 percent more skill damage it actually looks like it's for the target that receives the normal attack that triggers this skill they will get 80 percent more damage so while the chance of this going off increases in a um in in a swarm event uh it's still only going to affect a single target however that doesn't mean it's not good um because the more that this goes off the better and if you pair her with someone east with like isong if you have isong expertise right this is insane right because if this triggers and then isong ye's um primary goes off like they take an insane nuke like they just get demolished by his primary skill um and if hers goes off as well like even better so super super good um if you pair her with another uh, aoe commander especially one with a huge skill damage super cool right the other thing that i think she's going to be used for is as secondary to ethel fled as a counter rally to an enemy rally so essentially you're defending a flag or a fort someone rallies that flag or fort you counter rally their rally with ethel fled and kira and if that counter rally pops this skill then not only will they take 80 percent increased skill damage from ethel fled and from kira but they'll also take increased skill damage from the uh, garrison commanders on the flag or the fort so if you have somebody like isong ye on the on the flag as well like they're gonna take insane damage right they're gonna take incredible amounts of damage and then as well um if you pair this with somebody like uh if if the if that counter rally is getting or if their rally is getting swarmed and this pops off then you can swarm it with other players with skill damage so genghis khan will deal insane damage uh, as well so i think that's going to be a really good use for kira um counter rallying an enemy and having this go off is going to be crazy and she actually has a lot of um a lot of synergy with ethel fled because ethel fled is also a debuffing aoe commander whereas this is the same thing you're basically having them take way more damage um and you're also an aoe commander so they both benefit from the skill tree things like that super good right super good the reason you would have ethel flood as primary is because her th third or fourth skill increases the amount that she brings to the rally by 10 percent but you do then lose the skill tree however ethel flood does have the support tree which gives you 150 rage regeneration every time a primary skill goes off so i don't know if kira is going to be better as primary because of the skill tree or if ethel flood will be better as primary because of her skill bringing 10 percent more troops probably ethel flood but I'm not really sure we'll have to test it later and finally her expertise um essentially all that it does is add a two second damage factor of 200 damage per second so essentially you're dealing 400 more damage to the enemy um when you expertise her so not the greatest expertise in the world however i will note that essentially this nullifies her 15 percent uh decrease and then some right so the 400 damage factor is more damage than is being reduced by that 15 percent damage reduction so it's kind of like it's just bumping up her damage factor by one to 200 which again that's not that good to me um but you know it, it's something right it's something it essentially takes away the negative portion of her primary skill which hey i can't really complain um i would have rather seen them uh change this third uh, uh, third skill um and bump it up to 15 15 because then it would have stacked really good with kusunoki um and would have given her another usage which she's still probably going to be good with kusunoki but um i i would have rather seen that than this tiny little damage factor added 
I don't really know. Um, another really awesome use for her may be um, Ramses. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but he also is an archer commander. He also does damage, uh, continuous damage factor, which, you know, if you have her second or her, um, fourth skill pop off with him like they're gonna take insane damage anyway guys that's pretty much it for the video i think kira is an excellent addition to the game and i really look forward to them adding even more epic commanders in the future because it just increases the amount of commanders that the that free-to-play players can use and a majority of players are free to play so the more p the more commanders that the majority of players have access to the the better for the health of the game in the long run um that's my opinion and i, I love to see it right um there's a couple of things again that i would have improved on kira i think that um she could have used some experience uh buffs basically uh, an increased experience game would have been good for players because it's just such a grind um and i also think her expertise is a little bit lackluster um it could have been a little bit better as well but she, she again she is only an epic commander so it's hard to really complain about these things but for sure at least give us some extra experience game anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out my channel a ton subscribe if you want to see more rise of kingdoms videos click that bell so you get notified the next time that we do upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below if you have any questions about kira if you have any questions about epic commanders or anything like that and again later down the line hopefully i can release a commander guide for her when i do have her expertise my twitch link is in the description below if you see me live even if i'm not playing rise of kingdoms you can come over there and ask me questions Questions about the game i'll be more than happy to answer them for you and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been amirka we'll talk to you guys again soon peace